It's been a while, everybody, but I'm finally back to Seblems, because the level Supersonic was giving me a whole lot of trouble, and I finally managed to solve it. Thanks to Flopsy for giving me a couple hints along the way. At least one of them really helped me out. Praise be to God on this amazing day, before I forget to say that. Anyhow, I finally beat it, and got the replay for it. Very nice level, but also... This, was a, this is probably the toughest level in the pack I've faced thus far. All right, let's go down to R.A. Rapture 10, come on. Spinning blue ball of death, you are not. There we go. All right, so first we have a lemming climb up, and then he's gonna build across there. I knew that that was right. That was pretty easy to figure out. It was getting for this wheel, that was the tough part. What you're gonna do is have this guy dig at the very end, or at the edge of this platform. Make sure there's a pixel between there. It doesn't super matter a whole lot. You can climb up through the fire, but that's not intended. So, Flopsy, you should probably fix that. Like, add another fire stream there, just to make sure it's obvious that that's not what you're supposed to do. Alright. So he's gonna dig down through here. Then he's gonna mine through the wheel. So, uh, it looks simple enough. Now he's gonna fall, we're gonna clone him, and then immediately make the cloner walk, so that only one of them goes for the trap. One of them has to die, of course. So now he's gonna start building, and we're gonna clone him so that the other lemming builds over this way. And then the clone can climb up through all of this stuff. You can climb up through here, but you can't fall down through there, because that's a splat pad. This guy's gonna climb up and then start digging through all this stuff. So he hits that, he hits that button, and he's gonna mine for this, and then build at the edge of there, so that way Lemmings will be able to walk over the pit. So yeah, he's literally just gonna dig down until he reaches the bottom, just about. He's gonna build. Now he's gonna turn around, and then build at the very edge of this platform. That'll build all the bridge tiles he needs, but he'll still turn around, which is, uh, necessary. This is also a one-way field. That'll be important for later on in the solution. So he's gonna climb up all through all this, and then he's gonna mine through this to let all the lemmings out, and they'll be trapped in that area. Now what just happened there is that he's digging, uh, here, then he's gonna blow up right there. That'll mean that we can use a single builder to get the lemmings up through there. It's very important that you have the lemming dig at such a point that he will not fall to the ground when he bombs, but will rather stay up on the platform. Anyhow, this guy's gonna mine, hit the steel, turn around, everyone can go up. Yay. All right, now here's where things get tricky. He's gonna climb up, blow up a hole, so that another guy can mine at such a point that he'll hit the one-way field, turn around, and all the lemmings will drop into this holding cell. Then we can bash through the wall and hit the button. And that'll be, I believe, the nope, second to last button. So they're still all held in. This guy's gonna mine off for the one-way down arrows. Really annoying how they don't move downwards, but again, that's fixed in the new format version. So he mines for all that. Now this is tricky, we need to have oh, I mean build at such a point that only the builder gets up so he can blow up a hole underneath this trap in time so that no lemmings actually go into the trap. That lemming was perfect for that. He hits the final button, and all the lemmings can safely walk under the trap. Now, we are going to build up to this ledge. He's gonna climb up, and blow up, so that lemmings can climb up here. Then he's going to build a bridge up to here. He's going to climb. We're going to clone him at the very edge, and then the clone will mine for all this, letting everybody get up to the exit. Seems simple enough, but this level, it was very hard to easily determine, like, okay, this skill obviously has to go there. So the main hint that Flopsy gave me that helped was that, yes, you do have to mine through the one-way field, and that you had to mine through this. Because I was really confused. I was trying to, like, dig through this, I was trying to blow or bomb my way through the wheel, 
wondered if there was a way to bypass the wheel entirely. That didn't work. I was also trying to do crazy things where I would walk with the digger. So we would go there, then I'd clone him, and then mine our way down. And I quickly realized that we couldn't use miners for all of those. You needed bombers as well. Really nice level, but wow, that took me a long time to solve. Many days were spent uh, tinkering with that one. <sighs> Alright. The next level is Rapture 11, the Jagged Staircase. I unfortunately was forced to get a sneak peek of this because I hit the wrong button during the level because I'm still used to one being the walker hotkey and not the immediately take me to the next level hotkey, which I will never ever use. Anyhow, the Jagged Staircase. Gotta rescue everybody. This is Flopsy and DMA, apparently. Unlimited time. 50 release rate. A lot of fire blowers. All right. Probably backroot seals. And we got five stackers. Um, not this music. Alright, well, they're all penned in already, which is nice. We got a mess of one-way arrows here. I see that one-way arrow on that terrain. I see that. Oh, hey, we can climb up here. Well, clearly we're going to have to do that, so I'll just... I'll start the level like I always start levels. I just tinker away with the skills until I can find something resembling a solution. Then I stick to it until I realize it's just not going to work. Builders are going to be precious. Let's have him stack at the edge. Got a couple of miners, so that's useful. Well, there's no getting through there, unscathed. No floaters, okay. Oh, sorry, dude. Two stacks is not going to be enough to get across there. Okay, we can build there to get them all across. To get them all across. Hmm. So we got two builders left. We can get up to that wall with one. Alright, this will be a tricky one. Alright, clearly we've got to send a climber up there. Stack across. The exit trigger is small enough that we might be able to get over it in two stackers. Let's try that. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Aha! Wonderful. Saving builders, one stack at a time. Because let's be honest, builders are going to be a lot more helpful on this level than stackers will. So if I mine through all of this, everyone will be able to climb up to the top, and that'll break his fall as well. Alright, we're four builders. One, two, three. Mmm, 
okay, this might be possible. All right, let's use our last stacker here. I'm pretty sure that's right. We can use our last basher to get them through. Now, I'm thinking we can do like a minor blocker minor thing there. Oh, wait, no, we can't. We only have one minor left. And that's my mind. All right. So it's going to be hard to send another climber up. Well, let's let's tinker with this. Nine seconds. Four, three, two. Hey, hey, maybe this will work. Can't see a whole lot of use for the diggers, so I bet I could use more than one. Worst case, I can always rewind. Excellent. This one is lots of fun already. Hmm, they still have to climb up that, which isn't ideal. But there's nothing that a bomber can't fix. Oh wait, we have to save everybody, so the bomber's out of the question, actually. Maybe this is where the digger can come in handy. Don't tell me they're perfectly evenly spaced apart. Yeah, that kind of perfectly evenly spaces them apart, which is actually not what we want.
Oh, fun. By that I mean not fun at all. Gotta speed up his progress a little bit, eh? Oh wait, I won't even be able to free the blocker anyways. So that was flawed from the beginning. Alright. Well then we don't need f two climbers at the start now, do we? That stack blends in with the devil's mouth perfectly. Hashtag arty quotes. One, two, three, yes, that will work. Hmm. Or maybe it would, because we still have one stacker left, which means... Well, hmm. We do still have one stacker left. The blocker's definitely getting used somewhere. Gotta move him forward, though. Because if he goes down here, we can stack to save his life. Now, granted, I'm not sure how we would save him beyond that, but... If we do that, we provide a way for those uh, guys to climb back up on the bottom. If we had another stacker, darn it. Still probably too much of a climb for them, though. Hmm, okay. I like how it's at least a small level, though.
A stagger down here will turn everybody around. That's so thin. I'd like to think I at least got the first part right with the climber. Yeah, I think everything up till here is probably correct. It at least seems very logical and elegant. Now that's beautiful, but also not going to work. Hmm. I also do like mining through here. I think that's a pretty cool idea. If I do that, can they climb back up? Nope, it's a climber, alright. Worth a try. One, two, three, four, five, six. The one-way arrows, I feel like, are there there to help me just see which way to go. I sure hope they are, at least. <laughs> wow, magic. Ah, so close. That's probably just too much on the first step. Yep.
That's just a terrible idea. Alright, let's just see him do this. So he has to climb up both of those anyway, so that's not even going to work. Let's mine back from a little bit farther away. Mine from all the way back there. That gives us a much better building point. We still have to cut down this a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. And now that thing's blocking my head. This is one of the no-win situations, isn't it? I could cut most of that with the two diggers if I send up the other climber. I could do that. But I feel like there would still be a couple pixels that makes me hit my head. Hmm. I almost feel like we need to make multiple routes to the exit. One for the normal lemmings and one for the climbers. Because what we could do is we could do like a build block situation to let everybody go up, mine the blocker out, and then make the blocker and the guy who mines the blocker additional climbers. And then like they could climb up all of that or something to reach the exit. That's almost what I'm thinking. So I have three builders left. One will go there. One will have to go there. Then we'll need something to help us go up there.
I think they'd climb up that anyways, though. Or walk up that. Yeah. Builders, anyways. that we can separate him I mean and have him bash through that without needing to stack. This looks nice. This really does look nice. Such a shame I can't mine for those steps. Mm. Curious case of not enough builders. See, this part down here bugs me, because using a stacker, we can go up here. We can also dig down for all of this and climb up to the left and do a crazy thing like that. There's a one pixel gap there, and there will always be a one pixel gap there. That is so annoying. Well, you know what? I'm not standing for that. Three. 
There we go. Took both my miners, which does seem a bit wasteful. People can come into this tunnel. It's just a question of how to get up here. Now we save their miner. Hmm. That's still too many builders. Though. Put a stacker there, but that's not going to turn the climber around. That's going to be our best bet, though. First builder... Right there. One pixel too far. Not far enough. Shoot. Well, I don't know what that would do anyways. But then they could just... It's such a shame, too, because... 
you can just build to the exit. That gives me everyone except him. And I have no idea how to bypass this. Hmm. I am not sure. I'm gonna spend a bit longer on this level, because it's only at the 40 minute mark. But dang, this is tough. If, if it keeps up being this difficult, I'm gonna have to go to the Mega Bites rank. Hmm, alright. There's so much stuff where it's like, I don't really know what to do for the blockers. Or the blocker. I knew I should have taken a look at this level after clearing Supersonic. I thought this one would just be a lot easier. Why don't we send free climbers up? Okay, sending free climbers at the beginning, unless we finagle the release rate, is not going to help.
kind of drawing a blank on this level. I'm just gonna try some stuff. See what feels good. This strikes me as supersonic where I've got most of the level figured out, it's just kind of connecting all the pieces together and trying to discern which pieces are not correct. What if we mine for here like normal? be able to step up a large amount if we do that. It's not enough. If we could preserve a digger somewhere. Hmm. I 
feel like I had something good going there, though. A lot of moving parts in play here. Taste it. really want to save a digger, but the only one I could save is up there. So I use the digger there, and I use the digger there. I use two diggers up here. That's not a thing that I can afford to do. Can I turn myself around? Because that would be lovely. people over there. Two. Cool. You can be the climbers. Oh my gosh, I think I finally found it.
Hmm. Got to figure out a safe way to destroy the stack. <laughs> if such a way exists. Actually, no. Simple solution. Okay, where is the bell builder followed by the... Er, lemming 5, Lemming 5. Delete. We're just going to let them pass on through. They all get trapped down there. Asher Builder. We're going to do that later on. Oh, I see the plow. Yes. They're all climbing up the stack one way. Okay. Okay, that's a bit more problematic than I expected. And if I do that, everyone's going into the fire. Oh, no, they're not. Because it's one-way arrows. Thank you, one-way arrows. Back route? Perhaps. But I will happily take that. Woohoo! Beat two rapture levels today. That's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. That was an awesome level. Tune in next time. We'll be tackling more of the rapture rank. I might have another guest commentator. We'll just have to wait and see. Have a great day, and God bless.